Hello and welcome to the Academy of Online Mastery. My name is Steve Woody. To ensure you're watching this video in the best quality, please click the resolution button and select HD. For more videos, please check our website www.onlinemastery.co.uk. In this video, we're going to cover a lot of information. We're going to learn how to create dynamic HTML. We're also going to learn how to dynamically call the style sheet to make our site go from this to the demo site that we saw on the Twitter website. The first thing we need to do on our FTP is create a new file called header.php. We also need a new file called footer.php. These are template files that are understood by WordPress. The first stage is to go to our index.php and copy all the information from doc type down to the content, which will be the main hero unit. We'll copy this out, delete it from the index, and paste it into the header.php. We'll do the same thing for the footer. We'll take all of the information from HR, take all of the JavaScript, copy and delete, paste and save. And if we now view our website, we can see that we've lost the header information. This is because we now need to go back to our index.php and use some PHP script called the git command. This line of code calls the header.php. We're going to introduce the same line of code at the bottom, we'll call it footer. This will now call the footer.php. We now have a dynamic index.php page, and if we refresh the screen, we can see that we now have our header back. This is really important when you're creating big sites or multiple pages. It's much easier to edit one header.php document than multiple templates. Whilst we're here, we'll also go into the header.php and start to tidy up some of these links, making them more dynamic. The first thing we need to do is we need to make the style sheet dynamic. We do this by adding the following line of code. The PHP blog info will be seen a lot throughout this tutorial. It displays information about your site, mostly gathered from the information that you've supplied in your user profile and general settings from the WordPress administration screens. This code can be used anywhere within a template file, and we're using it to call our style sheet dynamically. We can now delete all the information that needs to be placed in the style sheet, because this is now called dynamically through this line of code. and paste it under the comment of the meta details on the style.css. We can now move the link for the responsive underneath the link for the original style sheet. And we can replace these two lines of code with more dynamic content. This is done using the at import and the URL is bootstrap forward slash CSS forward slash bootstrap.css. This will call the bootstrap folder, the CSS folder, and the bootstrap.css. CSS doesn't require open and closing tags, so we can also delete the style and save our CSS. Once successful, we can refresh our page, and you can now see that we have the site looking exactly the same as it does on the Twitter website. 